Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn how to compare decimals. Suppose we are given two decimal numbers 2.67 and 2.83 and we want to compare these two decimal numbers. Now we can compare two decimal numbers starting with their whole part. So first of all we will compare their whole part. If this is equal then we will compare their tenth part. If tenth part is equal then we will compare their hundredth part and so on. So here the whole part of first decimal number is 2 and the whole part of second decimal number is also 2. So these are equal. Now let's move on to their tenth part. The tenth part of first decimal number is 6 and the tenth part of second decimal number is 8. So here 8 is greater than 6. That means the decimal number 2.83 is greater than 2.67. So this is how we can compare two decimal numbers. Now let's see how we can use decimals in representing units of money? We know that 100 paise is equal to rupee 1. So this implies 1 paise will be equal to rupee 1 upon 100 which can be written as rupee 0 0.01 in decimals. So this gives us that 35 paise will be equal to rupee 35 upon 100 which is equal to rupee 0 0.35 in decimals. Also we have 9 paise equal to rupee 9 upon 100 and this will be equal to rupee 0 0.09. Now let's see how much will be 208 paise in rupees. So here we have 208 paise. Now if we write it in rupees then we will get rupees 208 upon 100. Now this can also be written as rupees 200 plus 8 upon 100. Now if we separate 208 in numerator then we get rupees 200 upon 100 plus rupee 8 upon 100 and this will be equal to rupees 2 plus rupee 0 0.08. As 8 upon 100 is equal to 0 0.08 in decimals. So this will be equal to rupees 2.08. And this can also be written as rupees 2 and 8 paise. As rupees 0 0.08 is equal to 8 paise. So 208 paise can be written as rupees 2.08 using decimals. Now let's see how we can use decimals in representing units of length. Suppose we are given a length of 165 centimeters and we want to convert this length into meters. Now we know that 1 centimeter is equal to 1 upon 100 meters which can also be written as 0 0.01 meters in decimals. So if we want to convert 165 centimeters into meters then this will be equal to 
165 upon 100 meters. Now this can also be written as 100 plus 65 upon 100 meters. This will be equal to 100 upon 100 meters plus 65 upon 100 meters. This gives us 1 meter plus 0 0.65 meters. So this is equal to 1.65 meters. And we can also write it as 1 meter and 65 centimeters. As 0 0.65 meters is equal to 65 centimeters. So we can write 165 centimeters as 1.65 meters using decimals. Now let's see how we can use decimals in representing units of weight. Now we know that 1000 grams is equal to 1 kg. So this implies 1 gram will be equal to 1 upon 1000 kg. And we can also write it as 0.001 kg in decimals. Now, suppose we want to convert 6,354 grams to kilograms. Then, 6,354 grams will be equal to 6,354 upon 1000 kg and this can be written as 6000 plus 354 upon 1000 kg that is 6000 upon 1000 kg plus 354 upon 1000 kg this gives us 6 kg plus 0 0.354 kg as 354 upon 1000 is equal to 0 0.354 in decimals. So this is equal to 6.354 kg. And we can also write it as 6 kg and 354 grams. So we can write 6,354 grams as 6.354 kg using decimals. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the concepts. Goodbye, take care and have a nice day.